Hello and welcome. As a PLC engineer or technician, you may face a number of problems with PLCs. Therefore, it is important to troubleshoot them. In this video, I'll show you a number of steps that you can apply to PLCs in general. Specifically in this video, I will be using Siemens PLC, but the methodology or the concept of troubleshooting can be applied to any PLC, right? For example, you have a problem with your Siemens PLC. I will open the Semantic Manager and first of all, I will go to my hardware configuration and I will try to go online to watch the online status of my PLC CPU in its respective modules. So this is how I switch to online mode by clicking this icon. Well, first of all, I will try to save the diagnostic buffer. Well, diagnostic buffer is the, the collection of events for example, if we stop the PLC or we memory reset the PLC or if we switch the mode of PLC from stop to run mode, well, all these events will be saved into the diagnostic buffer. So first of all, the first step is to save the diagnostic buffer so that we can have a look at the events that have caused the PLC stoppage or any other PLC problem. So to go to the diagnostic buffer, you switch to the online mode and then you click on the CPU, right click and go to the module information. Here you can click diagnostic buffer. Well, these are the events that have been logged into the diagnostic buffer file of the CPU. Mode transition from startup to run, request for manual warm restart, all these events have occurred with this PLC. So I will save it as a txt file as a diagnostic buffer and I will save it on the desktop. Well, I can have a look at the diagnostic buffer file and if there was any problem, well, that would be logged into the diagnostic buffer file. The next step step is to click on the CPU and go for the operating mode. Over here, the current operating mode of the PLC CPU is written. The current operating mode is run. The PLC is in the run mode. Well, from here I can click stop. Well, I can stop the PLC. I can warm restart the PLC. Well, warm restart means it's simply uh, it's, it's simple restart. While in the cold restart, well, the CPU program will be washed. So cold restart is not the first step, right? The first step is to warm restart so that we can switch the modes from this window. And if the problem is not resolved, then we can go for the cold restart. But in the first step, we will just switch between stop and warm restart mode. If the problem still persists, well, I can go for the cold restart and that will wash away the entire program from the PLC CPU. And obviously, once the program is washed, then you have to re-download the entire configuration, hardware configuration, network configuration and PLC, CFC or later logic or whatever the mode of the programming is. Then. Well, while I'm online, I can also look for the status of the modules, the analog input card in this case, analog output card. If there is any digital input or digital output card, you can go for that and you can observe its status. Well, the, PL, the CPU is in the run mode and the module is available and it is okay, no problem with the module. For example, if by any reason, the connection of this analog input card with the CPU is broken, well, there would be a red sign over here. So that indicates this module needs to be replaced. This apply for analog output card or any other system module in the rack as well. So that was the third step, right? Uh, to observe the status of communication between the engineering station or PG 
and the CPU if the communication is not establishing well you can check the uh, communication status between CPU and uh, PLC sorry between the engineering station and PLC CPU you can go for the command prompt and you can ping the IP address for example in this case if it is one you can ping the connection but since in this case I don't have any Ethernet connection between the CPU and the PLC CPU and the engineering station well it is not going to work but if in your case you have an Ethernet connection between the PLC CPU and in the engineering station well the ping connection will tell you whether the, st the connection between the CPU and engineering station is established or not so that's also a step in troubleshooting PLCs uh, last but not the least well there are certain OB organization blocks in the uh, logic of the CPU those organization blocks are imperative for the operation of the uh, CPU PLC CPU for example OB80, OB81, OB120, 121, OB10 well these are the organization blocks that are interrupt based well certain, while certain interrupt happens well those certain organization blocks are called and that interrupt would be stored in the respective organization block suppose if any of the critical organization block for example OB81 is not available and the interrupt happened well in that case the CPU would go to the stop mode because the CPU tried to run that interrupt in into the organization block and that was not available so the PLC CPU will ultimately go to the stop mode and that is an undesirable scenario because we don't want to stop the production because that results in production loss so you have to make sure the availability of organization blocks because interrupts if happen would call those organization blocks right last but not the least if you try all these steps and even then the PLC is for example stuck in the stop mode or it is not getting out of the stop mode well you have to go for the entire download option and first you will download the hardware configuration entirely then you will download the network configuration on in its entirety and last you will go for the CFC logic or ladder logic and you will try to download the entire logic as well to the CPU so hopefully with these steps your problem will be solved and uh, in the last it might it might happen that the memory card or any module has been functioned uh, sorry has malfunctioned physically so there's also an option so these are the basic troubleshooting steps and tips if you have any question regarding it you can ask me in the comment section thank you see you in the next video